This is Gary with TheDealFunders.com, and we're flipping a house in St. Louis with Ryan Luter. This is the original outside picture when we bought the house. This is the transition. You're going to see the changes, the things we tore out. We changed the front doors and put in a nicer door with side panels to make it look a little newer. First thing you need to do when you buy a house like this is find a focal point. This fireplace was a focal point, so we changed it, tore out the old brick, and put in all uh, new. And of course, renovated it and made it uh, more uh, usable. And then also tried to give it, you know, just a daring look. And so instead of being the sore point in the room, it becomes the focal point um, in the room and goes from that ugly old to this uh, beautiful brand new. Also, we changed the bathrooms. Women, uh, when they come to buy a house, are attracted to the bathrooms. So we want to give them a wow factor. We don't want them to look the same. We want them to look different. We're trying to, to put something in there that when they look at it, they don't go, my goodness, look how old that is or ugly the blue is. They change and go, wow, look at this place, how beautiful it is. Different color of paint, different styles. It does take some work. We've got to bust a lot of things out and come back and put things in. But when we're done, you can see the finished product is just outstanding, uh, the way it looks and the way it's finished. In the master bath, it did the same thing. Even though the shower wasn't too bad, it was ugly and old. And so we go in and uh, we scrape all the old tile off the walls, which is a lot of work, and we completely clear them off. And then we come back with a new tile and you can see the finished product is uh, quite different uh, in how it looks and gives us just some class. We always add a little bit of trim to it to make it look nice. Put in new sinks, vanities, and tops, and uh, just make the place, the whole place pop when you walk in. The other one is kitchens. If you look at the kitchen, sometimes they're so dated, people look at them and they think, I can't possibly uh, have those. What you need to do is tear all those out, put them outside and get brand new cabinets. By the way, this sink, this may be a collector's item sink. Ryan and I were both uh, looking at it. Um, it looks like uh, it has a spaceship on it, but um, we tear out the sinks, we tear out the light fixtures, the old cabinets, we rip them completely out down to the ground. Um, in this case, we took all the flooring out um, and uh, completely scraped it up, busted all the walls down, put in new tile all the way around the kitchen, made it uh, a much more classy of a type of tile that we have. And then, of course, then we started installing the cabinets, uh, hang all the cabinets, and then once we get the cabinets hung, start installing the granite, put the uh, things in, and then uh, paint everything back, put on some backsplash, and when you're done, you got a beautiful transition so that somebody walks into a kitchen like this, and instead of going, oh, this kitchen is ugly, it looks like 1960s, they walk in and go, I would buy a house with a kitchen like this, and it's really important. We also have to look at things that we don't see. Sometimes you don't see is this is a panel that has a, a problem in St. Louis, and they're making everybody change them out. So sometimes you don't see that, and we had to spend almost $1,000 just to change out a panel. Uh, we changed out all the doors in the house, from the old-style doors to the six-panel doors. just makes it updated. Uh, the basement just looks horrible when we went in. It has all kinds of cracks, all kinds of things. We fix them up, seal them up, and now you can see it goes from the old basement to a beautiful uh, new wall look, new shiny floor look, um, just, just to give the basement a complete transaction uh, so that people do want to store their stuff down there. We seal the basement all off, keep it from having any leaks, and then make it a, a usable place. Not really a livable place, but usable. Um, we take all the old out and we make it look brand new. That's the goal of what we do um, when we're renovating a house. So what I want to do now is we're just going to show you all the pictures and see the complete finished product. I wish you would work with us here at the Deal Funders and become one of us uh, and see the transitions that you can make in a house and how beautiful you can make a place look if you want to. It's just most people don't realize how much fun they can have and the beauty that they can give to a piece of property. All these wood floors, a lot of them uh, were, were put in and some of them were already existing and we've pre-finished them and uh, fixed them up. Of course, we did do all tile in all the bathrooms, the kitchens. Um, we did completely renovate them. But then we paint everything in the house. Uh, we give it a, a contrast um, paint, which is uh, like a tan paint and then white all the way around. We put in new light fixtures, new ceiling fans, new uh, fixtures in the dining room, as you can see here. We, are, we really try to fix the place up and make it classy. Give a new style sink with a different type of faucet, you know, the cut-in faucets in the granite. And we don't put granite in every house. Is it does the subdivision uh, hold up for granite? And uh, so it does it. You're going to see in our St. Louis house, if you go back and look at it also, we do backsplash and granite and kitchen countertops that are different in a beautiful kitchen. You want people to walk in and just go, wow, man, this is awesome. 
Uh, on the outside and the back, we made a huge patio and a sidewalk. It's covered here under the construction phase because it's cold, so we had to cover it so it doesn't uh, freeze. But we put a beautiful sidewalk all the way around the house and uh, tried to make it where it looks, uh, you know, the backyard is usable and very presentable. So it just takes a, a classy look, something that people will come down and they can walk into, even the basement like this. They can walk in the basement and go, this place is horrible or it smells horrible. Or they can walk in and go, wow, this place is clean and usable. And uh, that's what we got to do. You can see the, by the way, in the last picture there, you can actually see the new panel. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you feel like you've learned something. Come flip houses with us at The Deal Funders. Go to thedealfunders.com or thedealfundersblog.com. Flip houses with us, work with us, and let's make a difference in each other's lives. Thanks for your time.